we got some unfortunate news from Minnesota Twins fans. Their pitcher, Tyler Duffy, has been suspended three games, and he will be appealing. So basically what he did, Mario, was he threw behind uh, White Sox um, rookie, Jeremy Mercedes. Uh, in addition to this, Rocco Baldelli also got a one-game ban, but he served it yesterday in the doubleheader against the Angels. So um, he's no longer banned. Um, but they also got fined undisclosed amounts. So basically, Mario, the reason why this happened is because uh, Jeremy Mercedes, I'm pretty sure you know what happened, but to you guys that don't know, uh, you remember Mercedes hit a three, uh, hit a three-run home run. I think it was or something like that. He had a home run on a three-zero count, and they were up like twelve to four in that game. And they had a position player uh, pitching. Well, I'll get to that in a second, okay? Um, and Tony Rogusa actually called called him out too. Um, you remember Mercedes? He actually called out his own player. Um, because you know, if you know Tony Rogusa and you know baseball, you know he's a very old school guy. And back in the day, in old school, swinging on three-zero is very frowned upon, especially when you're up twelve to four. Um. He criticized his own player. Um, and then at uh, the very next day, Tyler Duffy threw behind him. He ended up getting thrown out in the game. And Rocco Baldelli also got thrown out as well. Um, so let me go first, Mark, because I actually have a couple things to say about this. And before I do, I just want to say the article was written by ESPN. So let me go first, okay? A lot of you are not going to like what I'm about to say. I don't have a problem with what your Mercedes did. I don't. I really don't. And here's why. I said it in the hockey video. You do whatever it takes to win. I don't care if it's 3-0. I don't care if it's 12-4. If that pitch is going down, first of all, let me explain something to you, okay, Mario? It's 12-4, and you have a position player pitching. That's your that's your first mistake. This guy throws 47 miles an hour. 47, Mario. I throw 93 miles an hour. That's your biggest mistake, all right? That's your number one mistake. Number two, it's 12 to four, and he's up. He's got he's got runners on base. All right. It's 3-0. I don't give a damn what the count is. If you get a meatball down the middle of the play at 47 miles an hour, what do you think he's doing? He's swinging and he's putting that damn thing over the wall. Anybody would do that. Come on now. So Tony Ralusa, shut your damn mouth. All right. He's he's helping your team win. All right. Is that that's what you want? That's what you sign, that's what you signed them up to do. He's doing whatever it takes to win. And you know what? Shame on Tony Rulusa for calling out his own damn play. I, I, I understand that you're old school, and I respect that. All right? But you're a World Series winning manager. You of all people should know that you do whatever it takes to win. It's as simple as that. All right? So to anybody out there that's like, oh, swinging at 3 0 okay. Last year, Fernando Tatis, did it. Fernando Tatis did it last year against the Rangers, and the Rangers threw a fit about it. Oh, well. Don't serve him up a meatball. Maybe he wouldn't have hit it over the damn fence. I'm just saying. As a pitcher, I'm a pitcher too, Mario. I don't have a problem with it. I know what it what what it means to do whatever it takes to win. All right, I get it. It was told before it was it wasn't necessary. But he's doing what he signed you signed them up to do. He's hitting the ball. He's getting runs in. That's what you signed them up to do. Right. So what's the problem? I don't understand. As for Tyler Duffy, again, I don't understand why you had to do that. Because your, your team is supposed to be on the top of on the top of the AL Central. You're in dead last. You getting suspended is only going to make things worse. And I guess three games, it's not, you know, a lot of people are going to be like, it's not really a big deal. But again, your actions are putting yourself in jeopardy and your team in some way. You know what I mean? And I get what Rocco Baldelli's situation, you know, you let, you know, when your when your player gets ejected, you have to protect your player. So I do get it, but at the end of the day, you know, the one game ban, he already served it, and they're both getting fined for it. Um, it it's just a really dumb situation, Mario. You know, and I and I'm gonna be honest, I think the I, I haven't really been too far with the MLB suspensions lately, but I think they handled this one relatively well. You know, um, Yerman Mercedes again, he's doing what he signed up to do. He's hitting the ball, he's he's getting men on base, he's getting runs in. That's what you signed them up to do. So what's the problem? I don't understand. You know what I mean? So um with that being said, I mean, I'm not going to hold them. I'm not going to hold anything against anybody. I do wish everybody here the best of luck. Um, I just don't like Tony Ralusa's comments. I think I personally think that was a little bit too harsh because, again, he signed he signed a contract to be one of your players. He's doing whatever it takes to win. It's just as simple as that. I don't give a damn what the score is. I don't care what the count is. I don't care what inning it is. I don't care who I'm facing. OK, you know what I mean? So you do what it takes to win. That's just that. So that's basically what I got to say. So with that being said, best of luck to everybody in this situation. Um, and, yeah, we'll just see what happens moving forward, Mario. 
Yeah, all right. So let me start off with the um what you said about hitting at the three oh. I completely agree with you, Nate. You know, I obviously he's like he's old school and like there is the the whole thing about, well, if you're this far ahead, you know, uh re, like the respect thing or whatever, but come on, let's be real. There that has happened sometimes where people score eleven runs. It has happened. You know, it doesn't happen a lot, but it could still happen. So it doesn't make any sense to it doesn't make any sense to tell them, oh, it's a 3-0 pitch and it's going right down the middle. Don't hit it. That's their job as hitters to hit the ball. So what do you, you, you know what I'm saying? So I completely agree with you on that part. Again, I understand where Tony LaRusso is coming from, but again, I don't agree with it. Okay, times have changed. Fernando Tatis Jr. got a lot of backlash, backlash last year about that. And now Jeremy Mercedes is going to get the same backlash for doing his job. It's not right. Now, going back to what you said about the suspension, I disagree with you. I don't think the MLB handled this well. I don't. You're gonna give a. You're gonna give somebody else. I'm talking about the pitcher for the Reds. You're gonna give him a seven game suspension for yelling. Okay, without nobody even being touched. But you're gonna give this man a three game suspension for hitting someone with actually a purpose. Actually, yeah, actually not. That's not the problem the with the MLB. Yeah, you're right. You're right. They're not. That's the problem with the MLB and the NHL. Got the same problems. They're not consistent with their suspensions. They're not giving people the right time. They're not. They're not doing it. Okay. You you purposely I think that was a perp I think that was perp on purpose. That pitch, when he hit him, I think that was on purpose. I'm being honest. You guys could disagree in the comments or whatever. I don't care. But I think that was on purpose. Okay. But this guy's gonna get a three-game suspension for actually hitting someone with a ball when the other dude who just yelled gets seven games. That's stupid. Actually, yeah, no, I, I actually no, I, I agree with that. No, I, I actually didn't even think about that. Okay, a few years ago, the Red Sox and the Yankees get into a huge brawl. They get uh the uh, the Yankees player was was um, he got two games off from the seven. He he got five games suspension for actually getting into a fight. Yeah. See, this is this is my problem with the MLB. Okay, you don't okay protect your players. All right. When you get hit by those by those baseballs, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't. It's as simple as that. It doesn't feel good. Protect your players. Let them know. Hey, if a pitcher intentionally throws the ball and targets a player, they're going to get they're going to get a big big suspension. Simple as that. If you're going to give them a big suspension for yelling after they strike someone out or talking junk, then you should be able to give them a bigger suspension for actually trying to hurt a player. That's what I got to say. And that's what, why I think the MLB is not, do, is not doing that great with these suspensions. As for the actual hit itself, 3 oh, you're damn right you're going to swing for that pitch. And you're damn right I'm going to swing for the fences. Why? Because I have a career to protect. Simple as that. Okay, great. We're up 15-4. We're up Let's add to it. So there's absolutely so so we can keep on so the chances of them coming back are even more slim. It's as simple as that. Okay, I understand the whole thing. You know, um, back in the day, old games, if it was like ten nothing, you wouldn't hit a home run or whatever. That come on, that's bogus now. It's bogus now. It's as simple as that. Okay, players obviously they want to help their team win, but they also want other accolades as well. You're a Mercedes. He's a rookie, right? All right, how about rookie of the year? Don't you think that would be something that you really would want? That one home run could really make a difference. Fine, all, let's go with all-star. Don't you think he might want that extra home run that could really help him get into the all-star race? So when you're really looking at it, Nate, I, I don't like that whole thing. You know, 3-0, hit the, uh, don't hit the home run. I think that's bogus. Not do you are. Okay, I don't care how big you are, how big of a league you have. I think it's bogus. Now, obviously, like, you know, there's similar rules in other sports. For instance, the NBA, if you are like, for, for example, the NBA, if the, if the clock is winding down, you know, and you already have the lead and it's a big lead, you know, don't take that extra shot because you don't need to take that extra shot. That's different than, the, than baseball. Let me explain why, okay? It's because basketball is timed, Okay. There is a time limit that you got to outscore the other person. That is basketball right there. It's, it's a time limit. Okay? You don't need to score that extra basket. Why? Because most likely that guy is not going to hit five or six points in two seconds. Am I right? Correct. Okay. Especially when you have the ball in your hand and you're dribbling out the clock. Okay? When you're the team that's winning, you have the ball in your hand and you're dribbling out the clock. You don't need to shoot that shot. Why? Because there's no chance that they're going to win. Because you have the ball in your possession. Nobody's coming after you. And you're just dribbling down the clock. So I understand that part. Let's go to football. Okay. Um, a minute left in the game. The team who's down by a touchdown uh, ends up throwing a pick. Okay. You'll need to take that pick to the house. Why? Because all you got to do is let your quarterback take two knees and the game's over. 
Why? Because football is also time. You need to outscore your opponent within a certain time. Baseball is not time. Okay? If I want to score 11 runs in the ninth inning, I'll, okay, and I got that momentum, I'll score 11 runs in the ninth inning. If I had that momentum to do it, I will. How many times have I seen, let me explain something to you, Nate, okay? Even though it wasn't the ninth inning, I've seen, I've seen, uh, I work, obviously I, I work for Coastal, I do like the cameras and stuff. I've seen Coastal come back 9 nothing. 9 nothing. You're going to tell me a team can't come back 11 runs. I know it's one inning, but still, okay? If you're throwing, and you're putting a position player on the mound, you're asking me to hit a home run off this guy. That's what I mean. If you didn't want me hitting a home run off this guy, put an actual pitcher in. So with that being said, I don't have a problem with your man Mercedes hitting that home run. I think that's I think that whole rule about 3-0 and you're ahead and you have a big lead, you shouldn't hit a home run. I think that's stupid. Okay. Why? Because it's not A, baseball's not time. B, anything can happen on get any given day. Okay. The pitcher can have a bad day and you can end up hitting bombs off this guy. Okay. And see, all, it's all because of rules that were made back in like the 70s and 80s when the time has completely changed. So I don't agree with that rule. As for the suspension, you need to give these pitchers bigger suspensions if they purposely target a batter, okay? If you're going to give big suspension, a seven-game suspension for a guy who yells and talks crap, then you should be given a se- even more than a seven-game suspension for somebody who's purposely injuring or hurting a player. Now, again... Absolutely. Now again, I don't know about you, Nate, but I saw that pitch. It didn't look like it. It didn't look like it was accidental. It was. It was pretty intentional. Exactly. So, with that being said, I wish everybody the best of luck from the Twins to the White Sox. You know, uh, best of luck to them in the rest of their season. And again, you know, I just think the MLB needs to get their needs to get their situations put together. I think they need to fix these situations regarding the suspensions. I think they need to like modify the rules and everything so it can be fair to everybody. 